Hi guys, Mike Martin here. Very, very excited to be on here today. Um, I'm going to do the first demo that's actually been done now of our call center software, which has been added inside of Lead Simplify for everybody. If it's not added right now, it'll be added by the end of this video. Um, so I'm just gonna very quickly whip through. Now, if you don't use Lead Simplify already, the first thing I need to do is help you understand what a lead buyer is inside of our system. So we add lead buyers into our system. <clears throat> now this is just a demo system, so there's no secure information in here at all. Right, so when you click on one of our lead buyers that's inside the system, he has his contact information in here. He decides whether he wants to get SMS alerts, uh, normal leads and phone leads from this section here. What they also get to do is choose what industries they want to receive leads in. Okay, and then they set their central location here by simply typing in, for example, <clears throat> within a 500 mile radius, he will receive leads all over the UK. So basically you can set multiple radiuses. So if he wanted to also receive leads for, so let's say a 30 mile radius of Miami, he would also receive leads in the 30 mile radius of Miami. Now the call system, the call system, which with the call center software that we've done also enables you to pass leads out based on the information that these people have got. So that's the reason I'm showing you how a lead is set up in the system first of all. Okay, other than that, they also have a schedule. Oops, I've come out of it one second, sorry. Other than that, a lead buyer now also has a schedule. This should be actually be called a work a call schedule, but it's called work schedule. This is when they want to receive calls and this is their time zone. So as you can see, I've got this one set to Europe, London, but they set their time zone and they set the dates and times they want to receive calls. So if they want to want to receive calls, Monday to Friday between nine and five, that's exactly what they would set up. It's actually a Saturday now, so I'm gonna leave that switched on and click save. Okay, for the call center software, first I'll give you a very basic overview. So click on call center. <clears throat> and what you'll see on the left-hand side is all your Twilio numbers and you import your Twilio by setting up your Twilio or API key here or inside of the preferences section. And there's a list where you can block numbers if you're getting pest callers and stuff like that. So you click on your call center, there are all your Twilio numbers inside of this box here. And then you're gonna be able to buy numbers here very, very soon. Scroll a bit further down and you've got what's called the call handler. Okay, so I've already got a call handler set up here, but what I'll do is I will delete the call handler altogether. Okay, so that call handler is now gone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go add new call handler. <clears throat> and what I will do is I will just put test video. Then you do is you select your number. Well, I've got one called test number, which is not used for anything. So that's why I'm using it on this video. Then first thing you do is select whether you wanna record your calls or not record your calls. If you click record calls, obviously your calls are gonna be recorded and they'll be available inside of your, under your call tracking app here which tracks all of your call rec recorded calls and shows you them all. Then you decide whether you want to pass your caller ID on. Right, now if you're using this to run a customer service business, if you're using this to run say a taxi rank, or if you're using this to run any type of business where they're not purchasing leads, so you've got unlimited leads, then there's no problem with you passing on the information. My business model is I sell leads to people and I also submit jobs, send jobs out to contractors. So I would always not pass the caller ID because I want them to pick up the phone and answer and speak to the customer and get their phone number. If you've got a business where you're using this to run your customer service team, then that's a different situation. Okay, there's also a voice option in here. So you can have male or female. I prefer the female voice. Um, and then you set a industry niche. So I'm just gonna choose the call leads on this one, but depends what industry or what niche you're selling the leads in. Then you choose your lead source, okay? So we'll just put call sites again. Now you can have all different types of site. Then what you have to do is you allocate a phone number to your number. Uh, sorry, you have to allocate a location. So if I put Manchester in here, if I've got any lead buyers in Manchester, then this is going to fit their criteria and that's how they're going to receive the phone calls, the phone calls you've set, okay? And you'll understand a little bit more when I show you the third option on this little drop down here. Okay, so that's very, very simple, very, very basic, does what most other things do. Okay, very top one. First of all, you've got an option where you can send out calls to multiple phone numbers. So you can add an option here, set the dates and times that they wanna receive the thing, put the number in here, and put a comment in here. So Mike, the get from Manchester, so to speak, if you don't like me. Um, okay, and then you'd add another number and another number. So this works just like any other sort of call tracking platform where you can add as many numbers as you want. This one, you can set the times and schedules, what time and date they're gonna receive. But what happens is this one number rings 
and all of these phones will ring at the same time and the first person to pick up the call will get it. Okay, you then have the option to add a call whisperer on here. So I like to put in all, oh, all calls are recorded for training and quality, okay? Underneath that call whisperer, you can put any message you want inside the call whisperer, okay? Now I have a team of telesales staff answering the phones, so I always remind them by putting recorded call be professional because then they know if they're not being professional on the call i'm going to listen to it and i'm going to kick their asses and maybe even fire them <laughs> so that's the situation that they're in okay then you can also choose whether you require a response so all these people could pick up the phone but if we don't want you to go to an answer machine you click yes and then they have to press one to accept the call so they pick it up and they have to press one we're working on some software that's going to auto detect answer machines but that's not included as of yet okay so that's option number one option number two is integrated with our system so option number two forward the call to single or multiple lead buyers so you click on this little thing here and you can choose so dan the man uh, we'll choose martin and we choose me and what that means is going to happen is it's going to send out leads just to these three lead buyers inside of your system now what's really really good about this is obviously you've got all calls are recorded for training and quality purposes and the person who answers it obviously you're not going to have that you might have lead from bad boy leads somewhat silly like that yeah depends what your company's called right then what you've got here is a billing cycle because this is a prepaid system so they top up their system and they pay credits you can bill them after say 30 seconds so they'll receive a, a, a bill after after 30 seconds it'll take the credits off their account automatically when they miss a call this has not been added yet but it's going to be added in the next few days when they miss a phone call they're going to start to receive an email which says you missed a plumbing call because you've got no credit in your system top up here you missed a locksmith call you missed a roofing call and so on and so forth because you missed a, uh, you've got no credit in your system so we're going to do that to try and help people to to maintain top ups inside of their systems in addition to that you can have the re click yes to for them to press one to answer the call and then there is email notifications so what's going to happen here this will only go out to the bunch of lead buyers that you've set up okay add an email notification so if i were to add one of my emails it would automatically add my email in there and it would send me a notification every time we had a phone call well we generate thirteen thousand phone calls last month so i don't think that's something i'm going to be uh, <laughs> using the facility of i don't think right so then you just click save and that would all be added and it would just send it out to these lead buyers Right, the third option on the system, sorry for being so quick, but I want to run through to this one because this is the exciting one, all right. So forward, okay, forward the call to all matching lead buyers, okay. Right, backup phone number. So basically, in fact, just let me save this. So let me just put 0999, in fact, let me... Okay, that's actually my phone number I've just put in there. Um, don't ring me. I'll ignore it. It goes to me staff. Uh, right, all calls of a training quality. Leads from bad boy leads. Right, so what this does now, I'm just going to click, 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 click save on here. Right, once that's been saved, you click here and you can view all matching lead buyers. So all these lead buyers in our system, but what you can see here, where I've shown you inside the system before when you were setting up the lead buyer, this guy hasn't selected to receive me, hasn't selected to receive uh, phone leads, so he's on an X. So these are your four matching lead buyers in the location that the phone is set, okay? If you used to click on this and this was blank, you need to go and get some lead buyers for that area. If you used to click on this and there's a load of people on there that have not got it switched on, then you simply call the number and say, look, do you want me to get it switched on in our system? Yes, boom, go over and switch them on. You can also see this guy's set to not receive calls at any day time. Whereas this guy's set 24 hours a day, this guy's set 24 hours a day, this one's set not to receive on a Sunday, but every other day, and so on and so forth. So you can see who's going to receive calls. Now, if nobody picks up the phone and nobody answers, the backup phone number you've got here will ring, okay? So what will happen is the backup phone number that's inside your system will ring if you've got no matching lead buyers in the area. Then you pick up the phone, deal with it manually, get to the area where the leads come in, phone around and say, look, get inside my system, I'll give you this lead for free. It builds your system up on a progressive basis and the less phone calls you're receiving to your default number, the more lead buyers you've got in the system and the better the overall system is running automatically. Obviously, you need to do a little bit of work to get people in there. Again, we've got the welcome message, all calls are recorded for training quality and we've got the lead 
from Bad Boy Lead. Okay, so we're gonna build this one. Let's say we build this one after 45 seconds or however long you feel like. Okay, next step requires a response. So whether you want to press one or whether you just want it to automatically ring and ask a question. Okay, this is the best thing ever. This is absolutely amazing because it works based on where the person is ringing from. So if you've got a business or say you are running a lead generation business in the US, okay? and you want one phone number, one 800 number to cover every single place in the whole of the US, yep. Now, if it can't understand them, it will default, default to your location above for the phone number, okay? So if it doesn't understand the person on, 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 on occasion, it will default to here. However, so click ask a question, right? And I'm gonna pretend I'm in the US, so it's not going to work um, because I'm, gonna, I'm ringing from a Manchester number. So for example, let's ask a question. Um, Please provide your zip code so we can, in fact, you don't want provide, you want to say, please say, yeah? Please speak your zip code so we can pass you to the right person, yep, okay? And you can have an email notification, right? So let's click save on that, okay? Now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get my phone open and I'm going to dial a number because I'm in Spain I'll do 0044 so 00065661 now I've got no people set up in here for America so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ring this number and put it on loudspeaker so you can hear it for training and quality. Please speak your zip code so we can pass you to the right person. 90210. And as you can see, it started to ring. I can't answer that because now my, oh, my phone's going mad. Oh, it's trying to answer itself because it's actually rang me as the default number because I've got nobody in the area. So basically what it does is it checks the zip code, goes off, looks at longitude and latitude settings, decides, okay, there's nobody in that particular area, so we'll ring the default number. If you've got somebody in that particular area, it will automatically put you through straight to the right engineer in the right area. So if you see my example today, imagine somebody's driving along the road in Florida and you do, um, and they break down on the side of the road, they need, um, they need a breakdown service, they search Google, find your number, phone it says all calls are recorded for training and quality you don't need to have that if you don't want and then it says please say your zip code or the zip code of where you are see please say the location you're based so that we can get the right person so if they say florida or if they say miami it will automatically go off to miami find the closest breakdown recovery services that's in your lead buyer options and pass the call direct to them instantly so it literally passes the information and the call straight to that person no messing about, okay? There's no other system on the world that does it. There's only this, there's only one lead simplifier that does what lead simplifier does anyway and passes the leads out like this. But now we're gonna be able to do the same accuracy that we've all been doing with our forms on your phone calls. And we've got loads and loads and loads of really cool upgrades coming over the next couple of months. Okay guys, I hope you like the video. Check inside your systems, it should be there working. We're gonna sort out a webinar for early next week and I'll go through any questions, any answers, any problems anybody's got. I'm also gonna get Martin to come onto the webinar with me. Reason being, he's so much cleverer than I am and knows a heck of a lot more than I do. <laughs> okay guys, I look forward to seeing you back on the group. Cheers very much, bye-bye.